Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. You know where you're at. If you're not, let me reintroduce you, okay? You're at Deb Chanel's 48th World's Place, all right? That's where you're at for all your entertainment news, gossip on celebrities. Yes, 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 that's where you're at. So, at this point of the video, we will ask that you subscribe, you like and share my videos, okay? And you get down in those comments and tell me what you feel about what I reported, okay? Because like I said, it's all gossip news, you know what I'm saying? It could be true. Like some people say, and it could not be true. But we're just giving you the who, what, when, where, why, and lastly, how in the entertainment celebrity realm of living, okay? And the individual we're gracing today is none other than Nene Leakes and Cynthia Bailey. Yes, someone caught them on camera. Yes, go to Celebrity Insider. That's where they're dropping the news, the tea, and where I like to be to get my entertainment news. It's not my favorite girl over there, Kirsten Willis, but one of her counterpartners, uh, Nick Marcus, is breaking the story. They're saying Nene Leakes and Cynthia Bailey caught on camera having an explosive fight. Okay, I'm sure it's all for the drama and for filming purposes. Because other than that, I don't even think they um, lost in the same realm of entertaining and interacting, if you get my drift. Okay? Because Nene been floating over there with Wendy Williams and Tamar Braxton for the longest uh, this month or the latter part of last month and going into this month. So, I don't really know what's happening there. Seems kind of an odd couple uh, to be pairing up together with. But, hey, stranger things have happened. All right? But getting on into this article, because we don't want to tarry too long. All right? It goes in to say, it's safe to say that the drama between Nene Leakes and her co-stars uh, was more explosive than ever last season on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. That being said, it seems like the conflicts are not even close to ending in season 12. My pun intended, why would it be? Okay, because we're not paying attention to their sitcom or episodes of The Real Housewives of Atlanta because we want that feel-good type of interaction. No, we want drama field. Okay, mindless entertainment that we can kiki about and whatever and go about our business and wish them well in the same breath. All right, but getting back to the article, it says a hint that suggests that is a new clip of Nene and fellow classmate Cynthia, castmate, I'm sorry, Cynthia Bailey having a massive argument. Okay, the footage captured by a fan features the two ladies at a restaurant having a conversation not even close to being friendly. If they met up to try and make peace, it clearly did not work. And to me, I, this is my pun intended, not in this uh, gentleman's article. Why couldn't you just give us when it's so-called fan? That's why I said it's no, it's so-called people on Bravo team taking and leaking these videos. Because if it was me looking at that happening in live color, right in front of me, I would have been having the restaurant on blast. I would have been having, you know, me get some close-ups as much as I could. I would have been dropping tea and selling that story. Okay. But on this little part that they gave us, if you go to uh, Celebrity Insider and pull up Nene Leaks and Cynthia Bader caught fighting on camera or whatever, it will come up. And uh, what they're showing us, um, if you pan in, and it's also on the Real Housewives franchise um, on Instagram webpage, if you want to go there and it shows the two ladies. It, to me, it looks like a very stage scene. And like I said, they don't even have uh, it up of where the fight took place or the restaurant. So I'm thinking Bravo, Real Housewives of Atlanta franchise is basically dropping their own tea just to see if they can get us talking about it. And it worked. It worked. But I do peep game and I try to keep it, you know, close to being real when it comes on my channel or what I feel about a subject and how I see the parties acting and interacting. All right. But going back to the article. It says, um, wait a minute. Uh, 
Okay, it goes back and says, Nini and Cynthia seem to be raising their voices at one another and also gesturing with their hands. Both stars obviously aggravated by the other. Okay, my pun intended, you know, I get down. Like, hey, when I read stuff, I'm reading it with y'all live. Okay, I'm reading it and y'all are taking it in that the first time that I'm getting out. Um, and I, that bothers me. I'm like, they know they ain't finna put hands on each other. They can have hands all day as long as it doesn't come up to be on somebody's body. All right, like, reach out and touch someone. Okay, no, nope, that's an assault charge. And neither one of the ladies want to be, have, uh, ha they don't want to have that staple to them, nor pulling out extra funds to try to get that bail money going. Okay, but going back to the article, it says, why there's no audio. So no one knows what they were saying to each other. A cameraman can be seen in the corner, which means that they were most likely shooting for Real Housewives of Atlanta. You, okay, see, like I said, stage scene. So no worries if you're a super curious if you're super curious with what the fight was all about. The upcoming season will mostly likely clear things up. Okay, and like I said, if you go on Instagram uh, and you go to Real Housewives franchise they have the little footage uh that they're peeping out and like i said maybe they'll show us the actual restaurant that this took place in and we can like oh okay that's where they were but i think they're just dropping and teasing us with little clips here and there so it'll garner us to make sure we put our uh notations on our calendars and on our calendars on our phones to try to tune in when it comes back in november okay we're going back to the article. It says, as fans remember the friendship between Nene and Cynthia came to an end last season when the latter hosted an event that was attended by Nene, Nene's nemesis, Kenya Moore, as well. The woman was not expected to come initially, but she did anyway. And Nene accused Cynthia of hiding that detail from her on purpose. What are we in grade school? That's my pun intended. Not in this article. Going back, it says Cynthia, on the other hand, insisted that she had no idea Kenya had changed her mind about the invitation until she actually came through the door. Now, if anybody's been watching Real Housewives of Atlanta, we see at the reunion how they cut it up, chopped it up, pan it out to us to view. It seems like it was a total setup, uh, especially when she was talking to Kenya on the phone. And Candy was uh, in the background saying, she's mic'd up, she's mic'd up, you know. I'm like, Cynthia don't understand that, huh? Cynthia don't understand. <laughs> she don't know that cold red that you were trying to speak to her meant, shut up. Okay, shut up. You're getting this on camera. So it don't really make Candy look bad. But, you know, some people say it did, but I didn't really see anything. Really, because you could say she invited Kenya, but Kenya did not really say if she was coming. Anybody that going to look crazy it would be Candy, because Candy was on the outside, uh, probably talking to Kenya about, come on, girl, you know you can come. Go on and come for the girl. Do it for the vibe. <laughs> and then she probably said, okay, well, tell her I'm coming, but don't tell Cynthia, because, you know, she can't keep her mouth shut, and everything will be looking like it's staged, which we probably know it was stage it was stage but it was all good and it was great entertainment at the time but we're needing more we're needing more okay going back to the article it said um cynthia on the other hand insisted that she had no idea kenya had changed her mind about the invitation until she actually came through the door still nini was not convinced and the war between her and cynthia started and the only thing that's in my pun intended on those sidebar she basically, Nene wants to be in front scene all the time, and she wants everybody to cater to her needs. Now, Cynthia was her go-to person to make sure that happens every time an interaction is made. All right, she can always go to Cynthia. Cynthia's going to bail her out, going to be on her side, and she's not going to be alone. But now, uh, Porsche, or not Porsche, Lord, uh, Cynthia has gotten to where she's liking some of everybody on the show. And she's definitely has gotten... Uh, more close and fonder with Kenya, which is uh, Nini's enemy in a sense, okay? Or at least that's what she's portraying on the streets of Atlanta and in her interactions on the show of Real Housewives of Atlanta, okay? But going back to the article, it says, um, after the Real Housewives of Atlanta after show, Nini explained, I do not have a problem with Kenya attending the event because Cynthia can have all the fucking friends in the world. It doesn't matter to me. What I had a problem with was that she was using an excuse. She was trying to wiggle her fucking way out of it by just saying, I invited her. 
but I did not know if Kenya was going to come. The deal is, all you got to do is pick up the phone and say, Nene, just so you know, I invited her. And an invite doesn't mean she's coming, but give me a heads up. And, we, you know, it says B-I-T. Well, it has B. We know she's talking about bitch. She went on. Okay, but no, Nene, you can't uh, pick and choose to say how somebody wants to conduct their event. Okay? They don't call you and say, well, you know, uh, I needed a phone call from you because my person... Um, that I have a problem with might show up and I want to know if they come because then I might not be there, okay? Or I might have to make an impromptu visit just for a little 10 minute stay and then I'm out, okay? I showed you love, but I ain't got time to be at your party when you got somebody there that I don't care for, okay? Because I am that person. <laughs> I'm like, really, Nene? Come on, girl. Come on, you're OG and you're much, uh, I won't say much, you might be a little older by a couple of years, uh, from Cynthia, but you know, she gets to invite whoever she wants to, it was her event, it was a Sigrams event, you should have been a little more understanding, but then Nene, that's just how you get down, you don't care about anybody else's comfort, you only care about yourselves, so that's all I really had for this um, little video, this little tutorial on how Nene gets down, and we just all need to just come to grips with, this is the one, this is the place, this is the thing she's going to do on Real Housewives of Atlanta. And it's better yet, we get used to it to think that she's going to do anything better for herself than showing what she's always showed us from the beginning. Being selfish, being self-centered, and of course, she thinks she is the HBIC, self-appointed person on the real housewives of atlanta but like i said that's all i got hope you hopefully you enjoyed the video get down in those comments as you do give me your opinion on how i played this whole video out if you would if you must if that you do if you decide to deem it necessary okay but other than that Enjoy it, you all. Thank you again for subscribing to the channel. Continue to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Like my videos and share. But again, you know I like when you subscribe, 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 and like, like, like. Okay? But I'll see you next video, and we're out. Bye.